Hello, the purpose of this video is to show you some techniques for manually moving your prints around on the preview page when you're trying to customize the way your prints are going to print on your printer. Now, carrying on from the getting started video where we showed you how to add prints of certain sizes to the page, I'm just going to select a print and I'm going to hold the right mouse button, the sizes pop up, I'm going to choose a 5x7 for this print and I want a 2x3 of this one and let's say a 2x3 of that one. Now I have a 5x7 and two wallets on the page and everything looks great. QImage has arranged those automatically but Let's say I want to do some custom work. I don't quite like the way that this looks and I want to customize where those prints are on the page. And just like in the getting started video where we showed the full page editor and the cropping tools, I'm going to go to this edit page button here, click that, and we get to the full page editor. Here's the cropping tab from the getting started video where we can adjust which portion of the image will print and here's the size and location tab that I'm going to be using in this video. Now when you move prints on the page of course you can move them manually by just clicking and dragging. Let's say I wanted this print to be one inch from the left and one inch from the top. I can click and drag and I can get it pretty close just by eyeballing it, but let's say I want to make a precision placement of this print. I'm just going to click on it, and since I have a mat that this print is going to go in, or maybe I have a, uh, this is going to go in a binder and I want to punch some holes here, I have a reason for this image being at one inch from the top and one inch from the left. So I click it to select it. I'm going to go over here on the size and location tab, I'm going to put a 1 in the left location and a 1 in the top one. And that means this print will be 1 inch from the top of the paper and 1 inch from the left side. And these are absolute locations, which means this print will be located at exactly an inch from the top and an inch from the left of the paper and not the printable area. Now that I've moved this print, I also want to do something to these two down here so that they match, uh, so that they're aligned. Now again, I can click and move these around, uh, but again, there's a tool that I can use that will allow me to bump move these to other edges on the page. And the way that that works is like this. I have the print selected here. Uh, you can see by the blue border that it's selected. Now, if I hold the control key and hit the right arrow on the keyboard, it will actually move this print to the right and bump it against the next edge that it finds, which is going to be this one right here. So let's try it. Hold the control key on the keyboard, right arrow and it's automatically found the next edge available and that was this one so now they're perfectly aligned here on the left side. Now this image here I'm going to do something similar. I'll select this one and I'm going to hold the control key and press the up arrow and that's going to bump it against this edge because that's the next one in the upward direction that it's going to find. Let's try it. Control key, up arrow. It's bumped that right in line with this one. Now I still have to go this way because I want this one to align with this edge of the big print. So I'm going to use control right arrow and that found this next edge. So that's a quick and easy way to align with other prints on the page. Now let's say I want to move these precisely but I want them to be let's say up here, I'm going to hit the control key, up arrow, so that it bumps it up against this print. Select this one, control key, up arrow. Now they're aligned with this, but I want some inset. 
on these two on the bottom. So let's say I want a quarter inch inset on this bottom print. It's already selected. If I hold the shift key instead of the control key this time, I'm going to hold the shift key, right arrow. That gives me an eighth of an inch movement each time I hit the right arrow. So shift key, that's one eighth inch, one quarter inch. I just hit the right arrow twice. Similarly on this one, shift key, left arrow, left arrow. That's one eighth and then one quarter inch. So now these are inset exactly one quarter of an inch from the top image. And the increments are one quarter inch in English units and one millimeter for metric units. Now I hope these techniques will help you in quickly arranging and aligning prints uh, to high precision using the full page editor. These are some techniques that not everyone knows about, but they're very useful for aligning photos. Thanks, and we'll talk to you in the next video.